Greetings and salutations, fellow Magic the Gathering travelers. Welcome back to another daily arena video. This is Janky Meta. And today we enter the melee with Naya Humans. The new season is upon us, and we are joining the rest of the fellow travelers from across the land to regain position on the ranked ladder. The goal of this deck is to overwhelm our opponents quickly with human synergies. Our mana package of plazas, courtyards, pain lands, fast lands, and channel lands shine a light on our human and legendary realities. So without further ado, we charge ahead. I think this is a stinker. Hey, all right. All right. We'll ship the Cathar since we have two. And we will begin. Show them the human inside. Okay, so are they going to have removal on our Thalia? I think they will. I think they'll also have removal. On our Malira. And we have more Thalias on, in the deck, so let's go ahead with the Thalia. You never know. Uh, when is Thalia on curve a bad choice? You know what I mean? Mono red does mono red things. It really can't be avoided. Oh. Well, obviously we're not blocking that. Come on, game. Um, that seemed like a pretty good outcome for us. I think we probably Cathar the Swift Spear. Or we Malira. If we Malira, we have a Ganjo for one. Let's do that. All right, we're keeping up. Keeping up with Mono Red. I want to see how they develop their board state before I trot the Brutal Cathar out. Oh, I don't think they like the Malira. Oh, that's a problem. If they remove Malira before attacking, we don't have a Ganjo. I didn't think of that. Silly, silly, janky meta. Okay, well, we're sad about that, but Thalia's still on the board. And so is Sigarda? Do we have Sigarda? No, we... No, we do. We do have Sigarda. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're gonna do that. Oh, it took a little damage. Okay, Mono Red's job got a little tougher. Are they ever gonna play another creature? Golly, golly, gee golly. Uh, no blocks. Mm. 
Okay, well, it appears that the time has come to... Well, wait, we can... And then they kill it, maybe? We can't Cathar whatever creature they're intending on playing. But we can Valorous Stance whatever creature they intend on playing. And we have the mana to do both of those things. So let's do that. Let's refresh our memory on this. Uh, dang it. That doesn't work for us. But it's still what we have to do. Is this a play with fire on our Thalia? Because that doesn't really help. It's a play with... Oh. Witness the mayhem. Looks like we go first again. Hopefully we can go on a little streak here of a winning. Love the hand. Let's go. Even got a backup Thalia. We'll take a little damage here. No problem. What does the opponent have in store for us? A little Orzhov action so far. That's what we can see here. This is going to totally mess with their mind. Underdog. Okay. Forge for sure. Um, I don't think this is a, a throw away the hopeful initiate kind of turn. So let's just go in for two. They're not going to block. And... Rather than spend the Agonjo on the Tenacious Underdog blocking the hopeful initiate, which wouldn't give us any uh, advantage on their life total, we will look at their hand. Oh, oh dang, <laughs> whoa, they are, they have it, they have it all. Um, well, I think the, the, the most dangerous thing of all is got to be the obliterator. So we can't just click it right there. We've got to go down here and click it. Okay. Obviously, we'll, we'll play out the plaza. And this time... We'll... Um, attack with everything, I think. And use the Aganjo. Or... Let's think about the Path of Peril real quick. Mana value two or less. <sighs> Who would we want to protect? Anointed Peacekeeper, but we don't have Plaza on that.
there's a lot of thinking going on here because hope is rapidly draining from my system. Yeah. Let's go. They're all going to die anyway, so. They're definitely going to block the Peacekeeper, right? Sure. Let's make them make them use the path of peril and the peacekeeper lives through that. Everything else dies. We have a backup Thalia. Sure. Oh. And we can cast it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We might have a shot. Halana might have got us in the game. No promises. Skrelv is interesting. It doesn't have haste. Maybe it's Thalia. We don't we don't know what their other card is. What if okay, so we're we're out of Path of Peril range. They could very well have some kind of other board wipe, right? Um so it's it's helpful to have Plaza up to protect Halana, which means we can't cast anything. So I think I think we just have to cast it all. And just make this huge. Here comes the obliterator. Can we possibly just top deck the Valorous stance? Just use Skrelv. Uh, we'll pay it. Toxic poison counter. Um, and we'll we'll throw Malira out there as well. She she's a helpful. She is definitely a help in this situation. Um, opponent needs to cast a white creature now. Or wipe the board. Liliana is not gonna help. Let's read Malira again for the group. If you would get one or more poison counters, we don't care. Exile Malira. Choose another target creature or artifact. When it's put into a graveyard this turn, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. So we can either just do Malira dirty right now, or I think that it is Malira. All right, opponent is coming in for a smooth nine, unless we block 
Shieldred. What are they gonna do? They're gonna They're gonna try and wipe the board, so Thalia's dead anyway. Obliterator comes in. We found the stance. You love to see it. Um, they can't even. Okay, Skrell gets Hexproof, goes up to three, Obliterator dies from Valorous Stance if they have a removal on the Anointed Peacekeeper. So next to combat, we put it on Skrell. Um, all attack. Yes. Well, we can't attack with Skrill because we we need the protection. Ah, they didn't have it. Okay, look, we had to play that the way that we played it. Sorry, opponent, if we were taking too long. Not sorry. Gold tier two. Well, opponent is going first, so we're on the draw. That's a lot of land. Double Thalia. But I think it's a keep. So let's see how this goes. More land, okay. Uh, nothing really to be gained. Either way, so let's just throw out the brushland, throw out the scrolls, take a damage. Another land. I see. Okay, opponent is on Azorius. So maybe that will affect them. And we have a spare. Let's hit him for one toxic. Unless they want to send Skrell back. Nope. Okay. Interesting, because the opponent went first, and yet we still managed to get Thalia on the board. So we're doing really good right now. Um, Pause of Heroes doesn't really do us any good. So we'll go... Overgrown Farmland... Leave Skrell untapped in case we need Hexproof. Attack with Thalia. Hit him for two. And pass the turn. Opponent is going to draw some cards, right? Opponent is going to march. We'll pay. We'll pay with planes. Does the opponent not realize how hexproof works? Or are they just going to waste two cards on Thalia? No, they didn't realize. Okay. This hand does worry me a little bit because mana can sometimes be an issue but we're on the draw it's a good time to call out the, the one change we made to this 
uh, hardcore meta deck is that we took out one copy of Planes and we added a Basaju because for whatever reason it wasn't in there. And we run green, so of course we're going to have Basaju. So far that hasn't hurt us. We have not ever been in a position where we lacked white mana, so I think that that was a good call. It also allows us to put a stamp on this particular deck list in untapped GG, and so far the performance is pretty outstanding, I have to say. I was going to uh, commentate during the matches, in between the matches, about uh, the performance, the stats on Untapped GG, but performance issues on this hardware have made it necessary to close everything else. <laughs> What would we discard? I guess we would discard... The th I don't know what we would... I don't know that we would discard anything. Rot Priest again! Okay, so they're go They're pulling a little Golgari fast one. Okay, we get a Poison Counter. And they're up to Toxic 3. They're never gonna... Hopefully they're never gonna hit us. Especially now that we've got Adeline. Or should we... Hit them with the Peacekeeper. Get some inside info. Okay, Infectious Bite. Proliferates. Well, doesn't technically proliferate. But Bilious Skull Dweller and then Infectious Bite is kind of devastating. Bloated Contaminator. That is tough too. Oh goodness gracious. But maybe with Halana and Elena we can pump that up. We need to get Infectious Bite off the board. And if they just drop a land that doesn't help them, we this is a this is a definitely a stall tactic. And we're not going to attack. We need to chill and wait and see. Hopefully draw some removal. Please, we need some removal. Okay. This was their plan. They were going to cast that. They were going to do an infectious bite, but now they can't. Right? Okay, so they remove... But they missed their land drop. There's still hope. Another Halana. So whatever we play is kind of dead. So it should be Halana, and we can pump up the Guardian. But not attack, obviously. Right, Infectious Bite, yes, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I see a play like that and I just have to kind of clear my throat. It's disgusting. Okay, our turn. Um, we can besage you their Necrogen, or we can cast a whole bunch of cool stuff.
scroll. Can't block. But it can enlist. Can they find removal on Halana? If so, we're kind of sunk. Play the Contaminator. Feeling pretty good, although Cut Down still exists. Cut Down is still a card. Fingers crossed. Our turn. Okay. Um, Razor Verge Thicket is a nice discard. Let's go Adeline. We will give Guardian of New Banalia buff then we will attack then we will give it hex proof or uh, sorry yeah hex proof from black and hit in. They block with the Rock Priest and they're going to let the Rock Priest come back. Right. And we will play Thicket. This is a sweet game. Uh, what does that do? Um, additional. Okay. Uh, huh. Adeline down? Kind of? So if that hits us, we go to five, six, seven. And then they have the rat priest and all that stuff. Meantime, we might be able to draw removal if we keep Adeline on the board. We can give it um, unblockable, but the Rock Priest is there to kind of screw that up. Yeah, let's get that off the board and not do any any more poisons. Um, that is a nice, uh, card to discard. So we can give, um, Skrelv. No, we can't. Mm. 
We can give Skrull protection with the Plaza, and we can let Guardian of New Banalia get its protection from the discard. So Skrull goes to five. a blocker. Shieldred's Edict. <laughs> so we would be going to six if they attack. We don't have, well they're not going to attack with the Rod Priest. Got to be the initiate. So we can block. Whoa, nice art. I like that. Okay, opponent has to block. Okay, we don't have pro protection with Skrelv anymore, or, or, or with the plaza. But we can attack with Skrelv because he's just super big. Um, we have the discard for the Banalia. That only leaves them, yeah, okay, so. Who do we want to be humongous? And then they have to block with the Rat Priest. Yeah. Protection from black. So they absolutely have to block with the Rot Priest or go down to one and worry about what we have in our hand. I don't know, opponent. Could be a play with fire. Probably should be a play with fire. Uh, <laughs> okay. We'll leave the land in hand for potential discard. They can hit us with the rat. If they have a, a rot priest, they roll that out, but they don't have any other cards to hit us with the ability. Shieldred's Edict. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh gosh, tough one. I think it's gotta be Halana and Elena. Oh, that is tough. Skrill gives unblockable. Yeah, it's Halana. Wow. All right, so opponent can hit us for a lot of damage right now and then die to the clapback. So they're not going to do that. Plaza of Heroes. If we enlist Skrelv rather than make it unblockable, are we just attacking with both of them 
Neither of them die. Scry two, okay. Cancel that. Uh, so many different things. Enlist. Enlist. One attacker. Enlist Skrelv. Scry two. Alana and Elena. Bingo. Block with the rat. Proliferate all over us. Yep. Go ahead, give us more counters. Oh, tough game, tough game. I really hope we can win this. Okay, they're not attacking. I don't know what they have. We have Halana and Elena, though. If opponents scooped right now, I wouldn't blame them, but I wouldn't do it if I was them. This is still a game. Okay. I was gonna say if they have removal, let's let's look at the battlefield real quick. Oh, we're so close. Okay, if they have removal on Guardian, number one, we can just make it indestructible. But then it would be tapped, so we couldn't attack. But we have Skrell, which makes it hexproof. So whenever they cast their spell on it, we simply make Guardian hexproof. And it also becomes unblockable because they only play green and black anyway, which is what would give the Guardian unblockable. Love it. I love that for us. That is a wrap. Please let me know in the comments if you'd make any changes to the list. I'd love to hear it. Any call outs on how I played things? Don't pull any punches. I want to hear it. I want to get better. Um, massive thanks to everyone out there consuming the content. Salutations to the Janky Meta Nation. You are excellent. The response has been phenomenal. It's been fantastic and very encouraging. We are Janky Meta, and we'll see you tomorrow in the next video.